Hey guys, I'm Zach Phillips. And I'm Mary O'Neill Phillips, and this is Forrest Gump, and we're from Country Outdoors. We film an adventure tour on the Outdoor Channel, and we use the camper for our home base. We've had so much fun over the last year, in and out of hunting camps, fishing, hunting turkeys, hunting deer, playing with our dog, and guess what? We have some RV pro tips just for you. These are our RV pro tips for everything that you need to know as a first time RVer. My pro tips come from a place of learning from doing things the hard way. So one of my biggest tips is utilize the resources at Camping World. Talk to the sales associates, listen, and learn. Because when I went there, I was stubborn and I said, I got this, I'm fine. And when I left, I learned that I didn't always have this and I made a couple mistakes. So use the resources there, they're very helpful and they can walk you through anything that you need help with. There's all these caution labels on the outside that help you know what you're doing. Read those. One time I put a water hose in the septic tank thinking it was the fresh water tank. I flooded the camper. You don't want that to happen. So read the labels and read your instructions. One of my biggest tips is to make sure that you put everything that you have away before you get on the road. Things rattle around and move around and you don't want to break any of your valuables. I had the awful experience of bringing some of my crystal wedding glasses the first time we went on the road and they smashed. So after that, I went into Camping World and I bought all of the plastic kitchenware that they sell and I've never had that problem again. When you're shopping for your RV, go to the location and look at a lot of campers. They all have different layouts, they all have different functionality and just look through them, spend some time looking at them and see what works for your needs and what you want. You don't want to be stuck with one that you don't like. So if you're going to do it, make sure it has all the features that you need and want. Our first RV that we purchased was not a toy hauler, and I wish I would have known how effective they are for our purposes and started there. And if you are into the outdoors and you love power sports, I would definitely look at a toy hauler, uh, and it doubles as a garage. We treat ours just like it's the garage at home. You can throw stuff in there, and it's a lot more durable. You won't mess up your finishings, and it's really helpful for me. Get yourself some outdoor mats and chairs. It's a great way to extend your living quarters and give you some space to hang out. You can also make it look really nice and cozy out there. And I absolutely love to decorate the outside as much as I do the inside. These campers are built with a ton of storage. So take a look at it and utilize them properly. I have a ton of camera gear when I'm on the road and I need to keep this place as decluttered as possible so my wife's not yelling at me. So use the storage. Most of them have a ton of good storage spots. Some things that first timers might forget to do when setting up camp would be to put the jacks down. You do need to do that, especially if you're somewhere like here in Kansas where it's 50 mile an hour winds, or you're gonna have a very rocky sleep. Also, it's super important to remember your wheel chocks. Uh, unhooking your truck from the camper and not having wheel chocks and then seeing your camper roll away, not a good thing. One of the most important pieces of equipment we have on our campers are generator. We spend a lot of time in the middle of nowhere and having power so that our lights work and we have heat is huge. Also, make sure you have enough propane. Pack extra propane because it gets pretty cold here in Kansas and three nights ago, I forgot to get propane. Woke up and it was 35 degrees inside the camper and you do not want that. I would highly recommend looking into backup cameras for your camper. On the very first day that we got our camper, we were at a gas station and I turned a little too wide and put a little bit of a yellow stamp on the back of it. So I would definitely look at a backup camera or be a better driver, one of the two. A few of my tips for first timers that are traveling with their pets would be to buy a storage container for your pet food that you can keep it in so that it doesn't fall around and it also doesn't go stale. Another one would be to bring shampoo and conditioner and to take your dog outside and use the outdoor hose to wash them so that you don't clog up any of the pipes inside the camper. And my final one would be to bring a leash because if you're staying in one of the campgrounds, you often have to keep your dog on a leash when you walk them around. We prepared for our first time RV trip by going to Camping World and buying absolutely everything that you could possibly buy for your camper. It actually helped us and saved us a lot of time down the road. Having all of, I mean, from kitchen goods to toilet roll holders, to bedding, to dog bowls, we got it all and set ourselves up properly the first time around. 
For our first trip, we went to Camping World and I actually had a sales associate come with me and show me all the things that I didn't know I needed. But we bought a ton of stuff from the generator, the sewer hoses, all things that I didn't necessarily know that we needed. We got it all there in one spot and we had it and saved us a lot of time in the long run. But one of the great things is there are camping worlds all over the country. So if we ever find that we didn't have something like the cast iron pots that I just bought, which is a special treat, you can go to another camping world store. We've only been RVing for a little under a year now. And one thing I would say is just don't be intimidated by it. Uh, when you first look at an RV, I, I can see how it would be intimidating, but Camping World has tons of resources available and great staff that you can talk to. Uh, if we could figure it out, I think most people probably can. And just go to your store, talk to somebody, and it is for everybody. Hopefully our tips are going to help you get started on your RV journey. And be sure to check out Camping World's other influencers for RV pro tips to take your RV knowledge to the next level. All right, let's go hunting. It is time.